Guys, first morel of the season. It's a very small black. These things completely blend in with the color of the dead leaves. You have to completely stop, get on your knees, and pan in a circle, or you will walk right over them. That's how sneaky they are because they're black morels. Yellows are way easier to spot and they get much bigger usually. These are tough. Anyway, it is a start. I got a little mesh bag with me. I'm going to load him up and hope to find more. So since I found him, I'm going to stop and really look slow. Early in the season, you've got to take your time more when you're walking. Because you'll miss 90% of them if you don't. Nice little black. Oh yeah. Like I said, it's a start. Now I just gotta pay twice as much attention now. So right where I got him, I am completely stopped and on my knees hunkered down and I'm panning around me in a circle as slow as I possibly can some of these barely poke out of the leaves some of them may even be hidden underneath the leaves the problem with blacks is many of them are not even worth eating unless you get a lot of them they're literally one bite I'm doing it just for the challenge of it Way more challenging to find these. All right, guys, just found my second one. Right next. Next, oh, I just found the one. You gotta look in between these leaves because they will hide on you. They're barely poking out of these leaves. These just came out probably yesterday. That's how young they are. And uh, you gotta have a sharp eye out for these fellas. may even want to rake the leaves. I know some people that bring a leaf blower with them, which isn't a dumb idea. Now, so far only two and they were right next to each other, but uh, there could be some more. I found two. All right, third one, guys. See what I'm saying here? It's underneath the leaves. Huh, <laughs> three now, I just found a big one. They're all around me. These things are real sneaky because they're only about a day or two old and they're gray morels or black morels and they blend in with the dead leaves. Some of them are just barely poking out in between the leaves. You have to get on your hands and knees and just stare and just pan real slow if you don't Take your time, you're gonna walk right past them. I've literally been in this one spot five minutes. I finally found the third one, but they're always they're all right by me. It's just you have to pay that much attention because the yellow ones are so much easier to spot because of their color. These look just like the dead leaves. They're sneaky, man.
And uh, oh wow, I just found a pair of them. Look at that. Heck yeah, guys. Now I got five. Oh, there's a little one right below them. In my personal opinion, these black morels taste better. They're more firm instead of mushy. And you cook them a little bit where they get a little crunchy on the outside. And boy, are they good. There's a little baby one. I'm gonna leave him. I'm gonna leave that guy. Without a doubt. That way I'll know where these guys are at. When I get here next week. Next week there'll be a lot of them and they'll probably be yellows. Alright guys. Found number six. He's also too small to keep. So I'm gonna leave him for next week. But there he is. Not, not even a whole bite, so there's no point in taking it. See, I'm coming here in this exact spot next week, so I don't want to take everything that I'm seeing. I want to leave them to ensure that they reproduce while I'm gone. Gives it seven days. It would be stupid to pick them all when you're the one that comes to back to that spot. So I'm not going to. Boy, they are some sneaky little devils today, guys. I'm really having to pay attention. I mean, big time. Also, another note is once you're finding these morels, take a note because you'll notice a pattern. What this is is a very small hill that comes down. It drops about four feet in elevation. Then it's flat for about 15 feet, and then it goes down another 10 foot hill. All these mushrooms that I just found are right where it's flat. About five feet away from the bottom of the first hill. Right where it becomes flat. And once you do that, you'll realize that almost all of them are in that same exact spot, and you just walk in a line. Unfortunately, the line is where a barbed wire fence is, but I can just stay on one side or other of this fence. So that's a little tip for you guys. Once you find them, look in a line and take notes of what feature you're seeing. find this mushroom I had to scrape leaves I got a stick and I'm moving these leaves that's how sneaky these little burgers are I'm telling you very sneaky little devils but anybody can find big yellow mushrooms get out here and you want a real challenge come find black morels early in the season it is not easy. It takes me four times as long to move as it would when I'm hunting yellows. I'm telling you.